Oh, are we filming? Oh. Today in Ask Austin Harley, we're talking about everything you need to know about balance transfers. So this is a really high talked about subject, so I'm gonna skip all that junk about subscribing to my channel and liking my video, even though you should like this video and even though you should subscribe to this channel, we're gonna jump straight into the topic of balance transfers and how you can use them to quickly boost up your score and for long-term purposes to boost up your score and ultimately pay down debt in order to boost up your score. But are these credit hacks really going to work? Well, of course they're gonna work, what do you mean? Then I'm gonna need some proof. So to start off, I wanna give a quick background about what a balance transfer actually is. So the concept is very simple. It means transferring debt from one revolving line of credit to another revolving line of credit, usually for a very small fee or upfront cost of around three to 5%. So credit hack number one, and this is really not even a hack, but the concept is very simple. You have multiple different credit cards, and they all report out to the credit bureaus at different times of the month. We talked about it in all my previous videos that you have a minimum payment due date, that's when the statement cuts, and that's when that financial institution reports out to the credit bureaus. So the process is very simple. Let's say you have two credit cards, one is completely empty, meaning you have a full credit limit available, and the other one is completely maxed out. And let's just use both limits as a simple purpose for this video at $1,000. So the hack is very simple. It's in order to trick the credit bureaus to reflect that both the credit cards are completely paid off. Now this will only work if your minimum payment or your statement cuts at different times of the month. So for example, let's say in the first of the month, the $1,000 balance gets reported out. So what you wanna do is do a balance transfer to the card that has a $0 balance, and then that one will be reported out later on. So the statement cuts on the thousand dollar balance one after you've transferred the balance over shows that you have it completely paid off and then for that time being until the next credit card your other one that had a zero dollar balance but now has a thousand dollar balance from the balance transfer until that one gets reported out your credit score is going to get quickly boosted up because it's going to show that both credit cards are completely paid off so when would someone actually use this credit hack well, we can talk about times where you wanna get approved for a car loan or a credit card, but maybe your debt to income ratio is too high. Maybe it shows that your revolving balances are too high to the limit on credit cards in order for you to get approved. So you can go do this balance transfer hack and then simply go back, reapply, and it will show that you have both credit cards paid off. Now, this is pretty advanced to do because you need to make sure that the statement's cut at a far enough distance um, from the like maybe the, the one with the balance that you're transferring out of cuts on the first and then maybe the other one cuts on the 30th to actually make it make sense but there is a cost there is an opportunity cost to doing this improvement and the opportunity cost is that when you do a balance transfer in general sometimes they charge you an upfront fee and that can usually be three to five percent if you have a larger balance, let's say of $10,000, three to 5% may cost you a lot of money, so it might not be worth it. To answer some commonly asked questions, there is not a specific credit card that you need to apply for for a balance transfer, it just has to have that offer on the table. In other words, the credit card is not labeled as a balance transfer credit card. The institution just has that credit card and offers you a balance transfer because all of our credit profile is public and they probably saw that you're holding a higher balance in another credit card and thus they're offering you to transfer the balance over to another one. Now the process is very simple. You can simply write yourself a check. Sometimes you get in the mail one of those uh, uh, little labels with a check already printed with your name on it. You simply just write the balance that you want to deposit from that payoff from that credit card and it simply just transfers over the balance to the new credit card. Uh, other ways you can do it electronically, you can go into the bank, talk to the banker and apply to that. So what are other ways that you can use a balance transfer to your advantage to skyrocket your credit score? Well, a great way is to even out debt across the board. So as we know, one of the biggest factors judging your credit is your utilization rate. So if you have a thousand dollar limit and you're consistently maxing it out at a thousand dollars and paying, even if you're paying it back in full, it still shows that you utilize 100% of your credit line and you're solely reliant on your credit and that looks very bad to the credit bureaus and it drags your score down. So what you can actually do is if you're holding a balance on say that thousand dollar credit card. Phone is ringing. Great. This is Austin. 
Cool, we're back. So what you can do is if you have a balance of $1,000 on the other credit card, you can transfer half of it over to the other other credit card, and that way you both have a utilization rate of 50% versus 100% showing that you're solely relying on that credit card. It will actually boost up your credit score a few points. Now, it's always gonna be better just to completely pay off the debt, and really where the catch comes in with the balance transfer to really skyrocket your credit the highest is gonna be by applying for a new credit card with a new credit limit for a 0% interest balance transfer. Now what this is, is you'll probably get these offers in the mail if you have higher balances. So what it means is you're gonna pay that still, that upfront fee of around three to 5%, and it's usually listed on that label on the ticket item in the mail that you get. So when you scroll down to the fine print over here, it kind of gives you an overview of what the credit card consists of, and I would actually go to the main site. I would go to Capital One's site before, but it says there is no APR balance transfers but that's pretty normal for travel reward cards. Again, this needs excellent credit in order to get approved. If we go to a different credit card, let's just say we go back really quick. And let's just say we go to this one, check out the Wells Fargo credit card, more info. So you get 0% for 18 months, foreign transaction fee, balance transfer fee right here. Oh, where's it blurring out? Zoom in. So balance transfer fee, this is what I want you to pay attention to. Focus, come on. For 18 months, then 5%. So even though these credit cards have this offer for 0% interest rate for 18 months, they have an upfront fee and again, credit need excellent. So you need to explore around. There's not going to be one institution that's going to fit every single one of you out there because each of our credit profiles are completely different. And you pay that three to 5% and once you do the balance transfer, you have that new debt listed under that new credit card line with a 0% interest. So typically when you were paying, let's say on a thousand dollar line of credit and you were just making the minimum payment of like 35 bucks every month, I believe the nationwide average interest rate on a credit card is somewhere around 18%, maybe even higher. Uh, but credit cards are ridiculous. Remember, credit cards are not meant to carry balances, so that's why you'd wanna do this by paying off debt. So you transfer over the balance, and instead of having that interest basically kick back up higher than the amount that you actually paid, you'll never pay it off, literally. You can have it on a 0% interest, and at that point, it basically becomes a loan, because every time you pay $35, it reduces the balance $35. And you don't have to worry about it, because you're gonna pay it off in a set time. Now the risk with this, the danger in this, just like Dave Ramsey says. The moral of the story is this, when people do debt consolidation or balance transfers, the danger is you feel like you did something and you didn't. $1,200 doesn't fix this problem. So 90% of you getting out of debt is you getting on a plan. The danger in paying down debt is that the problem isn't the interest rate, just like he says. It's not the interest rate, it's the mentality of actually setting up a budget to pay down credit card debt. You should always start off with the, with the smaller balance first. Now, everyone is different, there's no right or wrong. Basically, you need to just pay it all down, but the psychology behind paying down something with a smaller balance means that you're gonna be accomplished and feel like you hit a milestone once you pay that balance off. And you'll be more excited to tackle the next largest balance. It's not about the total amount of debt. It's about getting on a plan in order to pay down credit cards. But the point is that you need to be very diligent when you do this. And, and the reason why I say that is because why would the financial institution offer a 0% interest rate for 18 months? It's because it's proven in history that the way our minds work as humans with debt means that our financial status will not change in 18 months. Thus, they're gonna charge you the entire 18 months of interest that you would have had 0% free had you had paid it off. So guys, with that being said, the main drawback of doing a balance transfer is that usually people with relatively high credit card balances won't get approved for the new credit card, and that's just being real about it because when you have revolving lines of debt that are very high, other institutions are very unlikely to approve you for a new credit card. So does this credit hack work? Is it worth doing a balance transfer? It really boils down to what your exact 
credit profile looks like and if you have a question about that leave it in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get to your exact personalized questions so that I can help you and point you in the right direction so I hope I taught you something new in this video if you liked it give it a thumb and if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe mainly because it's free and because I make financial and real estate videos for everybody to increase their credit score or become more knowledgeable no matter what situation you're in no matter where you stand financially. All right, guys, I'll catch you in the next video.